All right, now let's get into the breakaway battle and what we saw at the finish because it was the birthday boy, American Nielsen Palace, who was just attacking and attacking and attacking up these uh, series of climbs all the way to Mondai Ghoul. And I love seeing this. This is Nielsen Palace's very first Tour de France. We saw him many years ago at the Tour of California. This was his breakout ride when the world took notice of Nielsen. He was climbing and attacking much like we saw today with riders who are were much more experienced much higher caliber of racers than nielsen he was just on the action axel merckx's development team at the time he you know didn't make a huge splash in the world tour uh certainly not to the degree that everybody was expecting him to do after he moved up following that season but this year we are seeing a brand new nielsen palace on ef education first for the first time and I gotta say, I like what I'm seeing. Him and Greg Van Avermaet going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, battling for a podium position on a stage of the Tour de France. This is, it's a huge step up for Nielsen Palace and, you know, a realization of what everybody, you know, has thought that he would be capable of for many years. So happy birthday, Nielsen Palace. Can't wait to see more of this. Yeah, an awesome ride by Nielsen and certainly giving us uh, something to root for. Uh, just incredible action in, in the breakaway today. Really exciting racing. That being said, I do have some critiques, Michael, because, you know, um, th this is what we do, right? We're the, we're, we're the <laughs> cat care critics. We, we need a and graphic. We, we we need a graphic, like a transition thing for Ian explains to World Tour racers how to do better. Thank you. For our next segment, you Ian will explain to Nielsen Palace how he could do better. Take it away. Okay, so Nielsen is attacking Alexei Lutsenko, who is one of the best bike racers in the entire world, Greg Van Avermaet. Like, I love the confidence um, of this, but... Bro, <laughs> like, back it off, play the, this is my first time racing in the Tour de France card and, and, and maybe respond to attacks, see what Alexi has before you're trying to drop him on this climb because he burned a lot of matches and, you know, we're hearing from Nielsen, you know, Gregor talked to him in the mix zone. He was asked if maybe he shouldn't have been so aggressive and he did admit, yeah, but I, I felt good and, you know, it was a time to test my legs and, you know, um, it'll bode well for, for future stages in this Tour de France and future Tour de France success. Yeah, Nielsen is still a relatively young guy. It's his third year in the World Tour. Yeah, it's his first Tour de France. But when you have an opportunity to win a stage at the Tour de France, like you need to go back to bike racing 101 and not burn your matches too early. I mean, it was a Nielsen attack at 18 kilometers to go that launched Lutsenko, who ended up putting two minutes into Nielsen by the time they got to the finish line. So great racing by Nielsen, but maybe keep keep your cards a little bit closer to your chest next time you're in this position. That's yeah. all I got. W wonderful, wonderful ad advice and wisdom that you are sharing with the riders, as always. But Lutsenko put two minutes into Nielsen Palace. Two minutes doesn't come... You don't lose two minutes just by throwing an attack. Nielsen Palace was looking at Lutsenko as most people would look at Lutsenko, saying, I don't really want to continue to climb this mountain with Alexei Lutsenko because he's probably going to drop me at some point because he is just that strong. And some riders, they do really well by just taking the bull by the horns and trying to make other racers react to how they want to race. And that's something, it's what we saw Nielsen Palace do at the Tour of California on that stage where he had such great success. He attacked, he was in a position with riders who were, you know, on paper much better than him. He attacked and they were not able to react. I think that he went for that tack today and that is just the tack that works for some racers. So, uh, Nielsen, I don't know. I think he you did it great did. if you he, want to listen to Ian. <laughs> he didn't win that stage with the Tour of California. Like, everybody talks about that because it's really cool seeing a rider from a, a development team go toe-to-toe -to -toe with World Tour riders on a big oh, mountain stage. But okay, okay, he didn't... okay, enough. It's, it's Nielsen's birthday. Let him have it. Back down. <laughs> hey, hey feed, feedback is a gift. Okay, I'm giving Nielsen the gift of my feedback for his birthday.